Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, previously we unboxed the Wii Tracker L1 Pro from Seed Studio. It's like the newest mesh-tastic device and it's a real cool device. Yeah, we learned it's got like that uh, joystick there. So you can move through the menus, up, down, left, right, and then just push the button for select. Okay, so here you see it's out of the box, it's booting up with 2.6.10. And I definitely want to get the Meshtastic 2.7 with the base UI on it, because that's really going to rock this device. Definitely. So here we are on the Flasher page. I selected Seed Studio devices, and there's the Wio L Tracker L1 there. And we want to select the 2.7, get the latest one. Yeah, 2.6 gave us MUI on MUI co compatible devices, but 2.7 gave us base UI on on virtually every device and it's really great for like OLED display devices um, <laughs> including the tracker L1 so here you got to enter DFU mode select your serial port connect and this is going to open up a Windows Explorer page where you can copy the image and you just drop it in there and then it uploads and then your device gets flashed so I'm going to download the UF2 file. Here it is in uh, the download list. Let's see. I'm going to show in folder. Let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to go back to the DFU mode here. And there we go. We paste the file. This took a second or two. And it always always interrupts like this. It's going to warn you, hey, it didn't finish, but you can safely ignore that. Just skip it and go on. It just does that. They even tell you that on the flasher page, so you don't have to worry if you see that. Okay, so we boot it up, and it looks like we need to begin. Okay, so we're out touching a little grass at Jesse Owens Park in Tucson, Arizona. It's pretty close to the house, but yeah, just wanted to get out. It's over 100 degrees today, so we're going to try this Wio Tracker L1 Pro out here in the park. Yeah, I just got through flashing it. All right, looks like it's going to wake up anyway. Okay, yeah, sorry for the screen flicker here, but I'll, if I hold it close, it's, it's not too bad. But watch the joystick. So here, I'm using the joystick. We need to set the region out of the gate, so just push it down and then press straight on to select the US region. Now let's set our time zone here. Single press on that. Use the joystick to go to time zone. Use the joystick to go to US Arizona. Press and the time zone set. Yes, so that's a really cool feature. 18 satellites on my GPS. That's amazing. See if we get a location here. And we got a location. Cool. Yeah, it knows what time. 18 satellites. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm kind of chilling out in the van right now, and we're going to check out the Meshtastic app connected to our Tracker L1 device here. It can find it can see I'm in Jesse Owens Park. I'm going to let Google do its thing here. Yeah, it pinpoint. I'm exactly at that spot. <laughs> it's like the farthest parking lot in Jesse Owens Park. All right, so we can definitely see that the GPS is working well on our L1 tracker. Yeah, the Wio Tracker L1 Pro. Uh, make sure to check out the previous unboxing video. Look for the product page down below. I, it, like I say, that joystick is, is really the deal maker on this device because it's like one-handed, uh, one, one control does everything on the menus. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like and before you go watch more of my Seed Studio playlist or more of my bigger Meshtastic playlist if you like, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.